down in Brooklyn. Detroit did not have no place for your game tonight. Tell us, and we'll seek elsewhere for entertainment. Settle down, Harry. I hope Detroit will not spoil our evening. In as much as I happen to be entertaining a very prominent guest tonight. I think you might have heard of them. I'd like you to meet Big Julie from Chicago. How do you do, Big Julie? Welcome to our fair city. Well, as you know, the heat is on. Just stay patient and you'll get some action. What do you say, Big Julie? Shall we stick around or shall we blow? I'm sure Big Julie will be considerably displeased. And Big Julie does not like to be displeased, as you can find from those uh, citizens who at one time or another displeased him. Although I must admit, it's very hard to find such citizens in view of the fact that they're no longer around or about. Now, Harry the horse, you do not think I would be so bad as to displease a gentleman like Big Julie over here? Big Julie. Believe me when I tell you that when Nathan Detroit arranges he's got a gun. <laughs> when Nathan Detroit arranges something, you can count on it. Then. Well, well, well. An interesting gathering, indeed, of the cream of society. Angie the Arts, uh, society. Max, Rusty, Charlie, Limited, and Louis. Mm, and Harry the Horse, straight from Brooklyn. I'm sorry, I'm very bad on names. You mind telling me where you're from? East Cicero, Illinois. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a scoutmaster. Well, don't ever help my mother across the street. Delicious. This looks like the male chorus from from Blossom Time. What's the occasion? Well, what we are. It's a party. Yes. Mm. What kind of a party? It's like I'll see you tomorrow. It's a bachelor dinner! Nathan's getting married! What? Uh, that is correct, Lieutenant. A bachelor dinner. Nathan's getting married. Yes, sir! For he's a jolly good fellow! For he's a jolly good fellow! For he's a jolly good fellow! Wait! Nobody cannot deny! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nathan's jolly good so thrilled! Why didn't you tell me? That uh, was a surprise? When I saw you standing here with all these <coughs> fine gentlemen, I never dreamed it was a bachelor dinner. I thought it was a bachelor dinner. Oh, no, it's a bachelor dinner. It is definitely a bachelor dinner. Yes, it's a bachelor dinner. Just think, after 14 years, I'm finally going to be Mrs. Nathan Detroit. Time certainly does fly by. Tell me, Nathan, when is the happy day? Well, will it be Nathan? Uh, uh, Nathan, uh, your friends have been nice enough to throw you a bachelor dinner. You might as well tell them when the wedding is. Uh, well, we need time uh, for the license oh. and the blood test. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get married tomorrow night, right after the show at the hot box? Get away. We need time for the license. You could elope. What? You could uh, drive down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Uh, Pimlico. No, not Pimlico. No, Nathan, no. Elect! They'll marry you right away. They don't require a blood test. But ain't that unhealthy. Uh, Nathan, that's a great idea. Oh, look, I'll, uh, I'll enter my getaway car. My Buick. Nathan, let's do it. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> my congratulations to Nathan. And I only hope there is nothing in heredity. Nathan, I've got so many things to do before we elope. You'll be at the hot box tomorrow night. We'll have a table reserved and I'll be wearing whatever you will open. Nathan, I'm so happy. I know to wire my mother. Only what do I wire her? Send the telephone. Beat it back. I better wait until we have five children. It won't take us long. <laughs> Nathan, you're a little lucky fellow. Most beautiful doll in peace. You agree, Big Julie? Tell me! How long you know the doll? Fourteen. What you crack? Nathan, you go 